What's up guys and gals, welcome to the Nerd Castle for the next episode where once again I've really got to swap that hotkey out on my recording software. So once again we are here near Kurakao doing our thing, just hanging out, being a pirate, just doing piratey stuff. And so he is heading towards, he's on a war galley. We need to find Baron Raimondo. Now the goals in this game are pretty simple. You beat up Baron Raimondo, he will tell you where Montalban is, you beat up Montalban, then you go to his base. And you beat up Montel Bond there, and then that's pretty much the main quest done. After that, you want to find your family members wherever you can and make as much money as possible. If I was trying to, like, set a record or anything, I'd be playing this game a lot quicker. So I did want to address that since we're in the third episode, or the fourth episode, or whatever. That I am playing this game at my own pace. Were I actually trying to be pro with the game, I would be playing a lot more faster. A lot more faster? God, that was terrible. I would be playing a lot faster and doing a lot more things with a bit more of a sense of... Well, a bit more of a sense of urgency, but since I'm just playing to have fun, I don't really mind either way. Let's go ahead and we're going to beat up this Royal Galleon, because it's probably got good stuff on it. And I think I can get around behind him before he comes about. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to fall for that one, Chief. Today, we shall take the longsword, as we always do, and hopefully my skills have not suffered. Like I said, this is my first time playing through the game using the number pad for dueling. Usually I use the mouse, and I'm quite good at it. But at a certain point, the mouse is simply not fast enough, and so I'm trying to raise my game after like a decade of playing this. That's how slow and how resistant I am to change. Like, I've really been trying to force myself to use the number pad on everything. We got a thousand gold from that. We got some spices, some guns. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I'm alright with that. I'm gonna beat up this little sloop over here, too, because I can. Because it's available. Because it's an option. We pirates, we are creatures. Ooh, get out of the way. Woohoo. We pirates, we are very much creatures of opportunity. We do the best that we can. Oh, he juked me. Little bastard. Yarr. To the long sword. See if we can knock him down the stairs a little bit more quickly. Actually, our pirate count is looking a little bit low. I may need to go recruit a couple people to join up. See if I can... Oh, I timed it properly. Good. We'll skip that. One of the Spanish crewmen is a skilled quartermaster who can enforce discipline at sea. He is quickly persuaded to join our crew. That's actually really good because now we've got all the items that we need in order to keep our morale as high as possible for as long as possible. Why was a escort ship carrying spices? Not really sure right there. Oh, I sailed through the storm on accident. My bad, Z's. These ships are going to require a ton of repairs before we can get anything else done. Let's go to Curacao. We'll talk to the governor, see if we can earn ourselves a little bit of a promotion. We are well on our way to the rank of Baron. She wants a ruby ring, but I'm probably not going to go down on that. Not really on board for that. We'll go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. That works. What does he have? Port de Pie? Nah. What do you have? The Baron Raimondo has a lightning quick dueling skill. It looks like he's still... He's last seen traveling to Santa... Oh, I should probably go up there then. We could probably catch him if we wanted to. Let's do it. After this, we'll go up there and see if we can find Raimondo. We'll get the game started properly. Let's sell off some of this spice. Because, as we all know, the spice must flow. We'll also get rid of all that. And we've got enough food to last a little while. We're carrying way too much cargo at the moment, so we're going to have to come up with some kind of solution to that problem. Let's repair the Molly Whopper. We'll throw bronze cannons on it, even though I don't really plan on ever going face-to-face -face with anybody. I'm going to keep the Galleon. We'll get rid of the Sloop, and we'll keep the other one, I guess, since we don't have a choice. The other plan we might consider is, as we go north to find Baron Raimondo, the other plan that I would be looking to put in place is maybe to swing through French ports, or I have no idea why it's opening my events by default. It never does that when I play by myself. Let's see here. Yeah, we need to hit up the French, and we also need to hit up the British as rapidly as we can to basically get as many promotions out of this thing as we can. I don't know if we're sailing at the rate of our slowest ship, I believe we might be, which will become an issue in the long term, because we definitely have pretty good wind right now, a favorable wind anyways. Oh well, we'll just draw a line and I'll repair when I get somewhere else I guess. That was something that I hadn't really thought about, but maybe I should throw repairs on that ship, it is looking a little bit beat up. I wasn't aware of just how terrible that thing is looking. I think if he leaves, he's probably going to cut more to the left. They tend to, when they cross this big expanse right here on the Spanish main, they tend to be going down towards the bottom left, in my experience, with Baron Mendoza and some of the other characters. I'm sorry, Ben Baron Mendoza. With Montel Bon and with... I think that's what we want right there. 
Santo Domingo. I don't know if he's still going to be around. But we can look. And it looks like he's not here. I think he went somewhere else. Okay, well, I think there's a French port to the west. So we can go to Petit Gua. I don't know how to say that. Is it Petit Gua? Or do you say the V? Do you say Petit Gua? I'm not sure. I don't see Mendoza here. And so what I'll do is we'll check in. I mean, Raimondo. I don't know why I keep calling him Mendoza. I keep calling him Mendoza when it's Raimondo. I should really, really know that considering how much I've played this game. Let's head to the west. Oh, our crew is unhappy. That means we're going to need to get rid of some of these little guys. Is that him right there? Let's go back and look. Nah, it's just a trade ship. Okay, well, let's go to the French port. We'll get our promotion from right there. We'll also keep an eye out for any of the famous pirates that tend to be around here. I mean, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But up until we see them, we can't really take them out. If you're really trying to play this game at maximum speed, what I would recommend you do... So let's say you're trying to be pro. When you start out, I would head straight south to South America. I would follow that up to Mexico, all the way up to Florida, because you'll probably get three or four pirates doing that. That'll put you at a good 30, 40,000 gold... From there, I would make sure that you hit every port trying to get treasure maps every single place that you stop. And I would hunt treasure as fast as possible. Like I said, though, I'm kind of playing this with my hands behind my head reclining on the couch. I'm not really interested in playing this at maximum speed. I'd rather just have a good time and have fun. Instead of stressing myself out about being successful. Go to the tavern and we'll check in on some of the news. He's got a Dutch rudder. I'm going to take it. The Dutch rudder is going to add locations to our map, which is going to get important. We're the fifth most. Okay. He was holed up in Santiago. Okay, so he went to Santiago, which means he head to the west. We can probably still catch him. Let's talk to the merchant. This place is poor, so I doubt that we're going to get very good prices. Oh, we'll get good prices on our guns. That's good. So let's go ahead, and we will buy a ticket to the gun show here. We'll get rid of these. And I think we only need, like, 20 guns for what we have. That empties out our hold so that we can get rid of some of these. Oh, good. We can take triple hammocks. Let's go with that. The galleon's not really that valuable. Yeah, we'll dispose of the six tons. We'll repair our ship. That puts us at four months. I don't really know how many crewmen we have. Which means I need to board ships a little bit more frequently. We'll talk to the governor here to get the promotion. And so now we are a major. Very nice. And so he bids us au revoir. We need to get rid of some of our crewmen. So I'm going to have to pick some fights over here somewhere. I think we're just sitting at too much crew right now. Villa de Tresor. Eh. Let's continue just chasing Raimondo around. If we need to hold up somewhere, we need to hold up somewhere. Is Santiago on the lower side right there? Okay, so it is. It appears as though he's already taken off, though. Let's take out this galleon. And I think what I'd prefer to do is we're actually going to fight this because what I would like to attempt to do, and I just clicked my teeth very oddly, and that hurt. That hurt like crazy. My teeth are now chattering, although I'm just getting into character. I think pirates' teeth probably hurt all the time. Oh, they surrendered. Okay, well, we'll take all of their goodies then. And we'll just continue to go where we're going. Go with the flow for now. Ah, there's Raimondo. He's in port. So what we want to do, it's flashing evil! Just letting you know. And if we could take him out, he's going to tell us where Montalban is at. However, you will see that his ship is quite nice, although it's slow, so we probably won't be using it. We'll probably try and damage it as little as possible. We'll just try and board and take it. Ooh, he did a little bit of damage right there. Let's go with... I'm going to go with the longsword. If you want to be safe, the evil Baron Raimondo emerges from hiding below the decks. You have found me at last, Mr. Mildew, but you will regret crossing swords with me on guard. Okay, let's get underway. He's using a Cutlass, which means that we actually don't have a whole lot to fear from him. The Cutlass is not going to be able to outrun us. Anytime an enemy uses the Cutlass, it basically means that they've lost already. Add that to the fact that we're kind of playing on the default difficulty. Not that worrisome. Off the ship he goes. Oh, never mind. He surrenders halfway into the wall. You are Master Swordsman, sir. I will reveal to you the truth that you seek. Your sister is held captive in a remote location. This map should help you in your quest to restore your family. All right, and restore we shall. Near Cartagena. Looks like there's also an Inca temple there. So, Cartagena. Alright, well... I'll have to take a look at the map, because obviously my geography is very, very suspect. My apologies to any of my Cartagenian fans, but we need to head out there. Oh good, we lost a little chunk of crew. And as you can see, oh, we got a Spanish pirate hunter that's coming out for us. We got Raimondo, which is really, really good for us. I'll beat up this pirate hunter real fast. 
Oh, we're actually down to 108 crew. Okay. He managed to miss us right there. He's trying to sail with the wind, but we should be able to outrun him. Ooh, goodbye to that guy. That was Ted. Ted's kind of awesome, but every now and again he gets on my nerves, so I'm not going to miss him that much. Catching that cannonball to the side of the doom. We're going to go ahead, and what you want to do right here... Oof, my bad. I hit the wrong button right there. Let's get him off the ship as rapidly as possible. We will take his gold, take all of the ducats we can from him, and then we'll beat up this pirate hunter too because I don't like being followed all the way back to the Span or the French port that I'm going to be inhabiting pretty soon. Take a shot with grape shot at him because why not? This is a pretty big Spanish pirate hunter actually. Oh, this guy's going to be quick. I can tell already. Yep. We'll go ahead and knock him off the deck. Down we go. We'll duck that. Come on. Sometimes you've got to, like, goad them to actually start attacking you, or they just sit there for a while, dwindling your forces down. One of the Spanish crewmen is a skilled carpenter who can make hull repairs at sea. He is quickly persuaded to join the crew. Good. That's going to be helpful to us later on. Now we enjoy a lovely evening sailing into the wind. So what we'll do is we'll go down this way. We are going to have to distribute the loot pretty soon. We are doing reasonably well. The only thing that I wish is that maybe we had seen a few more pirates along the way. But we've already got Jean Lafitte and we got Blackbeard as well. So we should be fine with regards to that. 40,000 gold is not bad for your first distribution. You prefer for your first one to be... As long as you're above like 40,000 you're okay. So... I don't think it's going to be bad for us. However, I wish that we were doing a little bit better because this is a game that I've played a lot and I don't like to feel like I'm playing a game poorly that I've played a ton. This is probably one of my favorite games of my... If I had to look at the amount of hours I've played, I don't know. This isn't the Steam version. I actually have a box copy of this game because I bought it way back in the day when I was in like a pirate phase. Come on. Sail us back in. We can do this. There we go. So we're back into Petite Guave or however you say it. I'm not sure. I'm not interested in Campeche. Steed Bonnet is in Port de pa Oh, he... Okay, so... Steed Bonnet is just north of us. We might want to go... Last... His home port is Port Sur. So we may want to swoop by and see what... Steed Bonnet's doing and see if maybe we can get ourselves a bit of extra cash from him. Because that's how you affect your morale. If you're trying to keep your morale high, morale is affected by a number of things. But it's time at sea, the amount of crewmen you have, and how much money you've been making. Because the higher the split is, the happier your pirates are, and so it keeps them sort of at bay longer and longer. I'm not trying to be punny right there, but... 33 months worth of food. We definitely don't need 30... Oh, I'm buying food. Luckily, the price stays steady, so we don't lose any money from doing that. No! He ran out of gold. This is like oblivion all over again, damn it. We've now been promoted to Colonel, which is very, very nice. We are a French Colonel, so that'll help us out a little bit. We probably want to check in with the Dutch... And the... I don't know if it's going to be quicker. Let's try this. We're going to go up to Tortuga. And then Port de... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we're going to hit all those locations up there. We'll try and beat up anybody along the way that we can manage. But for now, I'm going to need to keep a lot of these ships just to keep my crew happy. If we see anybody Spanish along the way, we'll probably jump them. Steed Bonnet's looking good. Jean Lafitte is down by Nalmuk. We should probably grab that too, but I don't know where Nalmuk... Where, where did it say that that was? In the vicinity of Trinidad. Okay. So Trinidad should be off to the right, if I remember. Yeah, so it's going to be in this area somewhere. So we'll try... After we get done with Steed Bonnet, what we'll try and do is we'll do a long loop around this way. Coming down through there. We'll hit the treasure right there. We'll try and find our sister, although it said that Cartagena... Cartagena is kind of far off. I don't know. I don't know if we have enough of the map yet to find her effectively. Some of the better players at the game will be able to find it based on just the smallest amount of clues. But I am not very good, so... Ah, well. What can you do? Sailing into the wind once more. What I'm going to attempt to do right now... We can't... It's just a settlement. If you look at these right here, these little settlements, you can't get promotions from there, so be aware of that. That's not something that is able to be accomplished from the little locations. But what you can do is you can escort governors who will either be bringing declarations of war, 
they will be bringing herbs that'll heal whoever's at the place that they go. So let's say that this Ricky Almondstead or whatever it is wanted to deliver herbs to Tortuga, it would become more prosperous. Or if it wanted you to escort a military barge, it would this little bunker right here would get larger and it would be harder to siege. Just things to be aware of. If you go to the Jesuit missions, you can get amnesty. So let's say that the Spanish are really, really grumpy with us. We can send one of the monks over to the Spanish to get us amnesty, which is nice if you needed to. If you're trying to go for a perfect playthrough, you get Admiral with every faction. I'm sorry, you get... Is Admiral the last one? I don't think it is. Well, if you get the highest rank... If you want to get the highest rank with every faction, that's what you'll have to do eventually. Talk to the governor here, although I don't think he's going to have anything. Ah, his attractive daughter wants us to go to... Oh, never mind, she's playing. Let's go ahead and we'll go to the ball to see if we can get some more treasures. And so another episode of Dancing with the R's is underway. And the ports do play different music. Depending on the ones that you're at, you'll get different classical sets. So the ones that you get in French ports are going to be different from the ones that you get at British ports. are going to be different from the ones you get at Dutch ports. And so if you're interested in music and just seeing what's out there and kind of experiencing every facet of the game, my recommendation to you would be to get your promotions and do your dancing at every single port because, honestly, there's a lot to be experienced in this game. And you cannot do it in one playthrough. You're going to have to do dozens of playthroughs to get everything in this game. And it's going to be a while before you get kind of like a winning playthrough, too. This is kind of a slow dance. This is lame. There's no challenge here. Although I do dig the music. I do enjoy... I really enjoy classical music every now and again. I do have one. I will say that one of my presets in my car is a classical station. Because every now and again, I like to get down on it. But I largely prefer to listen to... Well, just about anything, honestly. My, my musical tastes have kind of become more and more broad as I've gotten older and older. I don't really prefer to listen to one thing over and over anymore. I found that that's how it happens with most people is like when you're in high school or whatever, you have like that one genre that you really enjoy listening to and then once you kind of get older, I suppose you kind of those barriers break down, you start listening. At least that's how it happened with me. I started listening to everything. Got outside my box and I'd recommend it, especially if you're a musician. If you're someone that practices music or fancies yourself a musician, Get outside your box. Listen to a lot of different stuff because it's weird from where you can draw inspiration sometimes. Alright, this dance is taking entirely too long for how easy and slow it is. This is like one of the dances that you hope you get when you first start playing the game. Oh, I forgot to push a button right there. You can get dancing shoes that mitigate your failures. So you can actually hit the wrong button. He's got... Oh, she's got information for me. A... 4,000 gold reward is offered for E. Shawshank, who is wanted by the Crown for blackmail. He's hiding in Antigua. That's actually a pretty good piece of information. Yes. News of my family. Tell me more. You have a sister who's been missing. And, okay, so he gave us Baron Raimondo one more time. So if we wanted to beat up Baron Raimondo again, we could go to Santa Domingo and do it again. And we could get another piece. And this guy right here will beat him up because sometimes if we protect the barmaids from these captains... He has a long sword, so he's not going to be too bad. But if you protect the barmaids from the French and Dutch and English captains and Spanish captains, sometimes she'll give you rewards that are useful. Sometimes she won't. It, it depends. There we are. They really need to focus on, like, sweeping around here. The floor is looking disgusting. And so down he goes. And more men. Okay, so she gave me a bonus to recruitment, which isn't going to be that helpful right now. Ship right in the Florida Keys can upgrade your ship with iron scantings. Okay, not that useful, but still something to note for later in case we wanted them. We can take copper plating on our ship. I am going to do that upgrade. Let's sell the war galleon because it's very valuable. We'll get rid of that ship right there because obviously we need to make a little bit of cash. Otherwise, our crew is going to bail out on us. We'll sell off this right here until we're down to six months worth of rations. There we go. I'll keep eight months, and then we'll sell off the guns as well. Not a lot of money, but it put us up over 40000 and it will benefit us in allowing us to get rid of some of these other ships to make even more money. So we'll get rid of the galleon. I'll keep the trade galleon as kind of like my little backup unit. How much crew do I have? Okay, so we'll get 36 more because our crew is looking a little bit iffy. And what we want to do now, ah, they're all unhappy, so unfortunately... We're not going to be able to sail this one out much longer. Let's go after... Was it Port de Pie that he was in? Or Port de Pakes? Or however the hell you say that? Alright, well, if his home port, if you look, it's going to say what his home port is, Steed Bonnets. It tells you that because it's important to know because he goes in between here and his home port. I don't know where Port Sur is. Oh, it's actually off to the east. We might actually be able to... 
let's stop in at Port de Pie or Port de Pix or however the hell you say it. I'm not sure. My French is non-existent. Ah, he'll sell us a leather vest for 1,600 gold pieces, which keeps us from being knocked back as far when we get hit. And so a treasure fleet is going to Rio de la Acha. Baron Raimondo is headed back down to the south, so he's going to be outside of our reach for now. We will continue to the east and see if we can find Steed Bonnet to maybe get our morale back up and catch a nice little ship. Capturing pirates is really good with your reputation with all factions. It'll lower your bounty with the ones that you were outlawed with. And it will also give you promotions a lot quicker with the ones that you are not outlawed with. So heading back into the west wind. I think if we dally around here we might be able to find him. Is he at port right now? Okay, so he's actually at sea. The merchant doesn't really want anything from us. Let's repair our ship. We'll take the iron scantings for sure. Repair that little guy too to make sure that he's not too messed up. Jean Lafitte's treasure is right there near Naumux. We'll pick that up in the next phase of the game. Steve Bonnet has a lightning quick high chop. And so he's not going to arrive there for... I hope we don't have to go down to the southwest to get Raimondo again. Usually the pirate will just kind of circle this area. There he is. And so what we want to do now is not attack. And then we want to come around. He's flying in a brigantine, which is not that upgraded. He's kind of a middle tier pirate, so I'm not really that worried about him. I think he's like tier 5. I'm hoping that this gold will get our morale up high enough to where we can travel back down to South America and Mexico without having to distribute the wealth. I'll go with the rapier on this one. He's using a cutlass, so I think that was a good call. This will also limit our crew down slightly. You can see how much faster our swing is using the rapier. You really do want to use it if you've got all of the upgraded fencing gear like we do. We don't have the perfectly balanced. Oh, that was my mistake. I tried to swing too quickly. And so down goes Steed Bonnet. Or Stead Bonnet? I don't really know how to say his name. I suppose I might have been mispronouncing that the entire time. Down he goes. Into the break. Oh wow, he has way more than 4,000. Hopefully that'll bring our morale up. We can hope. And so there it is. The third most notorious pirate, Steed Bonnet, has come to an end. Nah, even that isn't going to be enough for us to get our morale back up. So now we have to make the risky decision as to what we want to do. He's in Antigua. We want to head east then. That's going to be our best plan for starting off the next leg of our journey. I don't know how much longer we have. It's iffy. It's very, very iffy. The crew is unhappy, but I think there's one more below unhappy. I don't typically allow it to get this low. Maybe we'll check out at Port Freedom. And I've decided I'm going to keep the difficulty where it's at too. Whereas I could definitely play the game on a higher difficulty. Eh. I'd rather game. I'd rather the game remain fun for me. Just saying. In case you were wondering whether we're going to upgrade. So he's got a ruby ring. I don't really want that right now. Okay. Not a whole lot that I can go with at the moment. Let's. Here you can send a pirate captain to go beat up one of the locations. He'll go kind of lower the military reinforcement there so he'll sail out and he'll go blow up a port and it'll be easier to conquer later on for another faction if you wanted to I believe what I would prefer to do right now let's see how much further east we can get I do think we can make a farther run before this goes poor on us and who knows maybe we'll see a treasure ship or something along the way like the Spanish smuggler right here oh he's actually shooting at me that's unkind I don't think there's going to be a location where we can distribute the wealth. Yeah, down here. No, that's not what I wanted. Stop that. You stop that right now. If I could make it back to kind of the eastern main. Oh, we may not have a choice. That run is a little bit further than I think we can manage. We'll risk it. Let's see what happens. Through the Mona Passage. We'll beat up some of these trade ships, I think. Let me take the right side, though. 
And this will help out with morale slightly. I'm going to have to rely on the fact that I can raise my morale just a little bit each time that we do this. I think after we take this ship, we'll call it an episode, and we will go on to the next episode, I guess. I love this game. I really do. I cannot explain to you how much I enjoy this game. It really is such a fantastically designed game. And Sid Meier's, I wish that he would really make a Sid Meier's Pirates 2. Just expand on the gameplay a little bit and just make it better. Because it's already such a fantastic game that they could keep the core gameplay tenets and maybe expand it out so that... I just don't know. Maybe you could go down to the canaries or something just like make the map a little bit bigger add a whole bunch more like long-winded quests add a few more things to really kind of flesh out the main storyline add cinematics and things and that's all they'd have to really focus on I mean they could maybe might even be able to use the same engine who even knows I mean I don't know if that's something that after all this time would be possible but hell if you could just recycle it and reskin it why not I know that there are some mods the game is moddable and you can change kind of the ship skins and make it a little bit more pretty if you wanted to, but I haven't tested that out. I'm not a big modder. I'm one of those guys that prefers to keep everything vanilla just to make my life easier so that I'm not constantly fiddling with little levers and dials. This is where I'm going to break it off. My name is Splattercat. Hopefully we make it back to our ports in the east before bad things happen. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, a mighty air and hi-do to all of you.